Hi guys, Ruby Exotics here, and today we're doing a uh, in best reptiles or starter reptiles. Today we're doing it on the king snake. Uh, so this is Joe, my high white albino king snake. Um, so king snakes are part of a colubridae group called Lampro Lampropetalus. Lampropetalus. I'm not sure. Sorry if I butchered their species name. Uh, they are from North America down to uh, Mexico and uh, they can be found in marshlands to forests to uh, deserts. Um, so they do come in kind of a variety of different habitats. Um, one downside is well, I mean, some people consider it a downside is they do have a really good feeding response. So they sometimes will bite you um, if they think you're food. Um, besides that, they make great pets. Uh, right here is a juvenile. Um, he Joe's around a juvenile. He's two foot. And if you see this brown um, place on his bum, he has an infection and we're treating that. Um, so he's around two foot, so he's around a juvenile uh, king snake. Uh, king snakes usually stay the average size of a corn snake, like this size of a corn snake, uh, three to four feet. Some species of corn snakes, such as uh, Florida king snakes or Brooks king snakes, whichever you prefer, uh, can get a little bit bigger, um, but usually. Your average king snake will stay around three to four feet. Um, they do eat other snakes, so they cannot be housed with other snakes. Um, in I mean, in general, with keeping snakes, you should not um, you should not keep uh, two snakes in the same enclosure if you don't have to. Um, just because. Even though some of them, like ball pythons, are not known for eating other snakes, they will. There's reports of them doing it, so you just gotta kind of be careful. Um, and these guys will. I mean, they'll eat even venomous rattlesnakes in the wild. Um, so you gotta be careful. Um, they're. I mean, they're very friendly usually. Um, he. I mean, sometimes he'll rattle his tail at me if I kind of piss him off or if he's having a bad day, but usually he's pretty mellow. Um, they're basically like a corn snake. I mean, they get the same size, require the same, oh, require the same kind of humidity and temperatures. And so uh, for on the hot side, uh, king snakes will need um, from anywhere from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to around 86, so 86 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit is a good temperature. In between there is a good temperature for their hot side. Cold side can be anywhere from 80 to 75. Um, actually, I'd probably say a little bit higher than 75. Probably around like uh, 77. But they are very great pets. So I recommend them. So guys enjoyed this video on king snakes so in the next video peace